up what's up y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new how you doing how y'all feeling i'm feeling good i'm feeling blessed thank you for asking it's your girl chanette i didn't say that i don't know if i said it or not <laughs> i don't know y'all it's been a long day but we are on episode two of um i forgot what i did, what i wanted to name this lp <laughs> Oh my goodness, y'all know I'm never, I don't know, the I, if, I'm not, if I know the episode, I don't know the name. But anyway, y'all, it's going to be, you know, in the description box and all over, you know, before you click on it. But anyway, y'all, so when we left off, I was like, I told you guys that she was pregnant, Um, that um, Kai was pregnant. And yeah, she is, and this is not her third, this is not the third trimester, sis. This is um her second trimester so she could be pregnant with twins or something because she's really big to be you know just in her second trimester i don't know for you know for her to be so fit like she's just like blew up so fast so i don't know but right now we just got off of work we have finally got our shop into the uh three stores so we're doing good we're making good money um, like I said, she is a jack of all trades. She is not going to be a veterinarian forever. You know, once she gets the shop up and running, she's really going to have her employees just run it and just make the profit off of it. And who knows? We might, you know, buy a restaurant. Or who knows what we're going to get, y'all? But anyway, right now, we're going to have dinner at Clive's house. And it's me, him, and our parents. And we're telling them that uh, we're pregnant. Don't know how this is going to go, but, um, yeah, where are they at? Mm, are they over there? Well, I guess when they decide to come on and we hired a caterer. Ooh, we are poking, y'all. Like, parents are outside. Ooh, they come in right now. When they walk in and see her with the... I don't really know how it's going to go, y'all. Honestly, I don't. Her mama done already came up in here with the stank face. Okay, y'all, she's about to tell her mom. She's like, mom, I... She's like, what the heck? What is going on with your belly? Like, you, what? She's like, um, um, I, I'm pregnant, mom. She's like, what? You, what? You are not pregnant. You know, just get away. Get out of my face. Her mom's like, you know what? No, like, come back here. You are the most stupidest. What the f are you thinking? Like, she is really cussing her out. She's like, you know better. You were not raised that way. Not at all. Why would you get mad? He, you don't even know, like, what is going on. He's like, whoa, whoa. Like, um, first of all, um, the, I'm grown. I made my own decisions. You know, she's going to, like, like, don't, like, first of all, why, why are you acting like this? This is your grandchild, and you're not happy? She said, I'm grown. I make great decisions. I make great money. Are you serious? Y'all, they are really going at it. Like, her mom is like really, really. Oh no, she. Oh my goodness, she's like, mom, are you serious? Like, it's me. Like, I'm your daughter, and you're gonna throw this at me. She's like, well, I can't hit you because you're pregnant. You better be glad I didn't hit you. And she's just gonna be like, you know what? Get out of my house. Get out right now. Like, party's over. Shutting it down. Get out right now. Get out. Their relationship has really went down. Like, I cannot believe that she acted like this. And she doesn't even care. She's just like, whatever. Oh, girl, dang. Cock, are you okay? And she's just like, you know what? If she's acting like that, I don't want her around our child. Period. Period, poop. Because that was ridiculous. Like, she didn't have, she didn't have to act like that. She really, really didn't have to act like that. Oh, he's kind of giving her a hug. Like, baby, it's okay. We gonna get, you know, through this. Oh, do you want to have sex? Well, <laughs> hey, sex cures it all, so screw it. We're about to go sleep on our mans. And I think our mom left. Like, she really, I didn't expect, like, okay, I knew that she would be mad. I knew. And dad, my dad didn't say anything, because where is his little ass? Where is his punk ass at? I don't even see him, but it's like, I knew that they would be mad because, you know, I told y'all they're very, very strict, like strict. They don't play that mess. Like it was, it was, it was enough. It should have been enough that, um, I know she got to be in her third trimester by now. It was enough that he is 35 years old and this girl is 21. But, you know, they was looking past that. 
but she's pregnant. Oh, oh my goodness. And when they find out that they're about to move in together, and the only thing that's holding them up from moving in together is the fact that they don't know where they want to move to. She's down to move to something else and start over, but she's not going to leave her house to come to his house. So I don't know if they're going back and forth because he likes his house. You know, he likes his house too. So I didn't know y'all. Either we're going to, either he's going to cave in and move in with her or they're going to decide to get a house together, like a, their, a first time house, you know, and they got two dogs and they're going to have a child and a toddler and all that. They need some more room anyway. And Kai has, oh, all right, y'all, we had a little steamy session with our men's. Uh, we, you know, we're still upset ultimately, but I mean, it is what it is. Our mom can be mad all of it. She wants, we're going to have this baby. You know, at first, it, you know, I told y'all that it had to do with security, but ultimately she loves the fact that that pissed her mom off. You know, that's why she's not even really too much bothered by it. She loves the fact that that made her mom mad, you know, for, you know, because like, like I told you, oh, she throwing up again. I'm sorry, sis. But, um, yeah, she loves the fact that, that, that that's going on because, you know, her mom, like I told you, they were strict on her, like really, really, really strict on her. She couldn't do too much of anything, honestly. And, you know, she always had to be perfect. Like, she really did. So the fact that she's grown now and she doesn't a hundred percent need them. Cause she kind of do, you know, but she kind of don't the fact that they, you know, that she can kind of slap that in their face. Like, yeah, okay. I'm pregnant. And what, you know? So yeah, she, I don't know y'all. I guess we're going to enjoy the food. I mean, the caterers did do a good job. Food looks up. Uh, oh, well, I guess they're not. Well, no, like, why she don't like it? It says it's excellent. I don't know. Maybe because of her pregnancy, because she was kind of, yeah, she is still really tired. Uh, she needs to get some rest, and she's really sad because she thinks she's going to be a terrible parent, which she's most likely going to be a terrible parent. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are at work, and we are in, the, I don't think, are we three? No, we're not in our third trimester yet. We have 15 more hours, but uh, this is one of our workers. <clears throat> We have three workers. Uh, I mean, we have three workers. <laughs> yes, I have. Uh, she has three workers, and yeah, we do. She do pretty good. She usually always brews some coffee for her guests. But yeah, we don't plan on being a vet forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, and we get to bring Allie with us every time we come into work, so that's great too. Um, but yeah, we do. We do pretty good. We're gonna always have this vet place. But it's going to be a lot of times that we don't come into work because we're going to be pursuing other things. Like I said, she's a jack of all trades type of Sam. And, you know, she's going to always be doing something different. Like she's not going to just, she's not the type of person that's going to stick with one career for uh for her whole life, you know. Uh, okay, sis. Oh, and y'all, I found out it wasn't nothing. It's just, I think it was just a glitch, you know, because I was at his house and things like that. That's how she showed up. But they don't even know each other. So it wasn't nothing. So we're, that's still our best friend. <laughs> Oh, y'all, look who came in. What's wrong with Fifi? That is crazy. He was just fine this morning. We're going to look at him ourselves to make sure he gets the proper care. Honestly, y'all, we need to go home because she is super sick. She has a stomach virus, and she's throwing up everywhere, and she just, I just can't. Like, we're about to go home. Like, that's the advantages of being the boss. So we're about to go home and let them do what they're going to do. And we're going to relax a little bit so that we can still go out a little later. Like <clears throat> okay, y'all, look who's showing up to our house tonight. He is going to tell us something. Um, he knew that we had been sick, like, all day. Like, we had to leave work um, today because we were so, so sick. We were throwing up. And every time we got home, we've been throwing up, throwing up, throwing up, throwing up, throwing up. So we're just, is it, is she sick because she has food poisoning and also, um, she is pregnant too, so she's getting double the sickness. So he's coming over to let her know that he's gonna move in with her for just a little bit. You know, they haven't decided where they're gonna live. You know, he still loves his place and he's gonna keep his place. Um, but he's gonna move in with her for a little bit, uh, just into the baby's born, you know, to help her out because she doesn't need to be here by herself. You know, she has Allie, but there's only so much Allie can do. So Y'all, this is the second time she's peed on herself. The oh, second time. She is just having this pregnancy, like, it's, this pregnancy is kicking her ass because she's pregnant for the wrong reasons. Like, she is trying to secure the bag while pissing, while wanting to piss her mama's, her mom off. Like, she is going through hell with this pregnancy. Like, she's just crying. She just feels horrible. But, um, 
it's gonna be all right. You should. This is what this is your fault. Like she feels like throwing up right now. Okay, clap. I'm so sorry about that. I've just been so sick. What's going on? Um, what did you come over here to tell me? Like you know what, babe, you need to. I'm gonna move in. I'm just gonna stay for a little bit. I'm keeping my place. You know, she's like, you know, I'm fine with that. You can keep your place. We're good. You can keep your place. And you know, it's gonna be pretty crazy with two dogs. You know what I'm saying? But you know, this is gonna. This is good. He wants to help. This is his child. You know, she doesn't need to be alone. She's been so sick, been so miserable. You know, he just wants to help. And they're not officially moving in. He is just um gonna be living there until the baby comes and maybe a little after the baby comes too and then they're gonna decide what they're gonna do honestly they could decide to just go their separate ways you know uh, what's wrong with the dog you know what you take him to the vet okay y'all looks like we're gonna have to get out of bed and come do it because um all my workers are busy tonight so isn't that just great it's something always wrong with fifi ass she got to throw up again, y'all. Hold on, Fifi. All right, good thing that his girlfriend is a vet because Fifi gets special tr treatment. What's going on, Fifi? But he is so sweet, though. He know he's cleaning up the shop. Like, that's so sweet of him to be doing that. Well, he was cleaning up the shop. I know, sis. I know. She is downright miserable, y'all. But this is what she get for doing this out of spite. Y'all, our baby made us some eggs benedict, and we got us a little espresso going. We're finally starting to actually feel a little bit better, but I mean, we have this stomach bug for the next few minutes, so I mean, all we have to do is continue to beat it, because like, she's, t she's tired of going to the bathroom, like, it's coming out of both ends, like, she's just literally had enough, so hopefully, you know, well, she just keeps not liking it for some reason, and it's, I don't know, it's just, oh, y'all, she is uncomfortable, she feel, keeps feeling the baby kick. And she is exhausted with this pregnancy and ready for it to end. And she's literally tired of going to the bathroom. Y'all, I tried to hold off as long as I could to see if she would go into labor because all Clyde's back home from work. But I, you know, waited all day to see if, um, oh, they just relaxing, huh? But I waited all day to see if she was going to pop this baby. But y'all, she will not. She hasn't went into labor yet. And she is in her third, third trimester thing she would not pop this baby yet so i don't i don't know y'all like i don't know when she's gonna have this baby maybe hopefully in the next part we will have a baby and we will know you know what we are having so for right now i'm gonna end this part right here thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel and i'll see y'all next time bye